Hello students, welcome back to our class. Next level of biodiversity is species diversity. We have studied about genetic diversity. The second one is species diversity. That means diversity at the species level. All of you know what is a species. Species is a group of organisms having similar characteristics and can interbreed among them themselves to give fertile offspring. So even in species there are some differences. Even in the same species there are some differences depending on the environment in which they live. So which is called as species diversity. And when we see western ghats and eastern ghats of India. See here in this picture in western ghats these are the amphibians found in western ghats. Western ghats of India. Western ghats means they are the mountain ranges which are present on the west coast of India. So there is there are number of amphibians seen in these areas, in these hilly areas. And when we compare them to the eastern guards, the number of species is less. Do you know what is the reason? Because of the environmental conditions which are present there, because of the rainfall which is there in the western guards. So what here, what you have to remember is in western guards, amphibian population or number of species of amphibians are more compared to the eastern guards. That is very important for your examinations. What is the point? At western guards, amphibian species are more compared to eastern guards. So this represents species diversity. And next one is Ecological diversity. What is the next one? Ecological diversity. That means diversity in ecological regions or in ecosystems. There are number of ecosystems in our country like estuaries. This is the forest. This is the desert. This is Indian rainforest mangroves, coral reefs, all these are the different ecological regions or ecosystems in India. So ecosystems are also different or they are diverse in some areas like India. But there are some countries like Norway, see here this is the Norway where ecosystems are less. We can see only a few ecosystems in Norway. So, this diversity at ecosystem level is called as ecological diversity. There are three indices of ecological diversity. What are the three indices of ecological diversity? First one is alpha diversity. What is the first one? Alpha diversity. What is alpha diversity? It is the number of taxa or the species within a particular area. A particular area is taken and the number of species is counted. That is called as alpha diversity. Second one is beta diversity. Here we compare the number of taxa or number of species in two adjacent ecosystems. We are taking two ecosystems and comparing the number of species or taxa. That is beta diversity. And the third indice or third one is gamma diversity. What is gamma diversity? Overall diversity for different ecosystems within an ecological region. It is overall diversity for different ecosystems within an ecological region. What is ecological region? It is a large area with different ecosystems.